crop of plantations called Coroni here, and there were bad, you know, quite a few slaves mm -hmm. that went there and stayed there, but the girls when they were teenagers or so, mm -hmm. then they used to come to town to work. And that's quite a trip back, so they stayed in town, and mostly if you were married and you had a home, then you had uh, the, the rooms where the slaves stayed in the yard, you know, they had big yards and so on. Mm -hmm. And my father got with two of the slaves that worked and had a baby with them. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I had a girl, and my mother heard about it, and then she tried to get contact with the mother from that child, and uh, she got contact, and then she asked the woman if she could have the child, and then she was about six years old, mm -hmm. but she had no, they had no schools on those plantations. Mm -hmm. And then my mother asked if she can have the child. And uh, then she could go to school here, you know. And the woman was very glad she and my mother became such good friends because she said my mother didn't do anything. And she was glad, you know. And the girl grew up and after my mother took her over, then I was born. Yeah, so we grew up together, and after that my mother got four, four, besides me, four children, five all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, the boy met another one of the Dean Smashes, we call them, mm -hmm. and we didn't know anything about it. And she, he grew up there, everything, and later on one of my brothers, came in contact mm -hmm. and became very good friends. And so it is half drug. What they got? Airy, airy. What's that? Fish with cassava planting, sweet potato. Mm -hmm. What else? Are. And, and then they, can you see what they do? That's uh, green beans. Huh? Green beans. What's green beans? Yeah, tomato sauce. Green beans is such a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Snape oil. Oh, the snape Maybe to put this one or... No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just put it over there. Good. Okay, thank you. Mother's side, her father, her grandfather, and then your father's side, his father, and his grandfather, who came from Germany. Who Not sta grandfather. Start with your mother. My mother. Mm -hmm. So what is exactly what I... My mom, my father's... Gran what do you want? My grandfather... Your father and your mother, okay? Your father was born here? No, both of them. That's what I'm asking you. Tell me he was born here, okay, in Suriname. Yeah. Okay. Who were his parents? His? I have to think of. His father was a German. Okay. And uh, the so you mean my grandparents. Right. Who were your grandparents? My grandfather was from Germany. Right. And he was Polish. And how did he came here? Yeah, he came here because they had the Evangelist brother from mm -hmm. here. Evangelic, yes. Uh, Evangelic. Yeah, Evangelic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Evangelic. Evangelic. Yeah. Keep talking. What are you doing, Pasha? No, no she stops talking when you do that. talking about yeah well a bit of a well somebody's da who had it can be long okay your grandparents <laughs> grandfather mm -hmm. was from germany okay 
My grandmother was from here, mixed. No, okay, she married him here. Your yeah, yeah, of course. And I don't know, my, I'm doing a course, me. I just no, asked him for. Where else would they get my? Uh, okay, keep that. going. Okay, so they married here. Yes. Your grandmother was local. My grandmother was local, but brown, mm -hmm. but she had straight hair. Okay. So she looked like a Hindustan. Right, but she they all looked her sisters and the brother and all of them. Right. So I don't know exactly what her mixture was because she couldn't be a Creole. Okay. Or else she had Crusade. What's a Creole? That here they call the black people Creole. Okay. In other places they're mixed. Right. But here they don't want to say Bosnia either. Okay. But maybe then they say Creole. And uh, because the Bosnians are from Africa, but if Bosnian is mixed with a Hollander, they're brown but they have kinky hair. But my grandmother had straight, straight hair, brown skin, but straight, straight hair. So we don't know, we never ask, you know, your children, so you don't think of those things. So I don't know what. Okay, so that was your father's side. Yeah, my father's uh, okay. parents. Now how about your mother? And Grandparents. Then we have Oh, yeah, oldest. No, but your, grand, your mother's grandparents, who were they? My mother's parents. Parents, yeah. My grandparents. Well, your grandparents, yeah. Yeah. My mother's parents were... Her father was also German. Mm hmm And her mother was also mixed. Mm hmm But you don't know, you know. Right. Because they don't... Uh, you know, you're not going to ask what you was because you didn't think about those things when you were growing up. Yeah. She was light skin also. Mm -hmm. Straight hair. Yes. When you look always, you look at the hair. And if it's kinky, then you know it's from Africa. <laughs> That's how they really used to think. And... Okay. That was my parents. Okay. That was your mother's parents. Parents, yeah. Right. But, and what next? Uh, who had the slaves? You said your father... Uh, I know. He, my grand... My great-grandfather. He, he was also yeah. from uh, Europa. Great-grandfather from, from who? From father's... Yakoi, father's side. But I thought your father's side was Ullers. That was my father, we're talking about my great-grandfather. Well, who's... Who, so yeah. they were the, the grandparents from my grandparents. Okay. That's the great... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. They were... But they were they here in Suriname? Name, not from here, they came here from Europe. I okay. think it's also Germany, because all the, you know, the... the I don't have Dutch blood. Mm -hmm. All my grandparents from before are from Germany. Okay. And uh, now who had the who had the slaves? They had the slaves. His name was Coley. Mm -hmm. And what they are saying, you know, when first of July was independent. Cut the kitty, yeah. Cut the chain. Cut the chain. Yeah, cut the chain, yeah. Chain, the cut of the chain. Right. And uh, they had great grandparents. Mm -hmm. And when my uh, grandfather was born. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, when my grand father was born. He was born on the first on the first of July. Mm -hmm. And the people and the slaves used to say that he brought the independence. Mm -hmm. And they danced with him on the whole plantation when mm -hmm. he was born. 
because he brought it for them. Mm. The independence. Okay. What they were and from my uh, great grandparents, from mother's side, I can't remember much. So uh, I, I can't remember. I think I have it written somewhere here. Uh, yeah, she has the book. Yeah, okay. She has the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because had the book written over the history. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us about her. From uh, about Aunt Wilhelmina. Yeah, how how did she come into the picture? Listen, Pasha. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was uh, from Germany, from mother's side, and he was in the military service here. Mm -hmm. But he was uh, yeah, called Kapelmeister. Right? Yeah, he was for the um, the military band. From the military band. You know when they play the... Conductor, music. conductor. Mm -hmm. Conductor. And he was uh, where my half along the river, on this side of the river. Carolina, one of the plantations, Carolina. Mm -hmm. And on the, on the other side, if you cross the river, you had Pierre Pone. And he was stationed for two years on Carolina, my grandfather. And all the time he was there. He picked the one of the Indian women, because Pierre Pondre is only Indian, you know. And went with her, and they got two children. So, from my, uh, my grandmother had half-sisters half in uh, Pierre Pondre. And how they met, you know, I, that I don't remember. And somehow the other said, I don't know, maybe it will come back because sometimes it comes. How she got contact. Everything. I can't think with that thing, you know, going through my head. Wait a minute. There was the second war. Oh dear, the war had something to do with it. And somehow or the other, my brother found out, because he was in the military beans too, you know. During the war, he found out somehow that he had family in Pierre Pondre. So he went and searched and found out that our grandfather had two children in Piano. And that's how he... Uh... No, the Indian woman was Tante Wilhelmina? Yeah, yeah. Wilhelmina was her name. Wilhelmina, yeah. Mm -hmm. And somehow or the other, my brother got to learn Tante Wilhelmina. She was a half-sister of my mother. Related to the grandfather, and that's why we got to know that we had family in Piedmont. So we had no Indian blood, you know. But so it, you know, yeah, yeah, my family, but not not Indian blood. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I yes. Grandparents. I thought. Because we both came from uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. and my, his, my great grandfather's name was Coley, and then they left in Albina, you know, mm -hmm. you know Albina. Yeah. yeah. And the, her name was something with Albina. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe Bina or something. And they built up Albina. I gave it the name of Albina because it was the name of my great grandmother. Mm. Something like that. I don't can't say it's direct, but mm -hmm. that's how it came. 
all they got was because they were only Indians. They came down the cross on the plantation. Mm. Now, who was the tin knocker? Who made the the pans? That and was my father. Your father. And he made the first air um, ice cut. Yes, ice box. Ice box. The local ice box. Uh huh. So he made one first for my aunt, and that was for us. It's a big box, mm -hmm. a wooden box, and then the inside. Yeah, uh, metal, yeah. Yeah, metal. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, the hole inside and then a lid on the inside with a big uh, I, can't, I can't remember the names of the things anymore. A pipe. Yeah, pipe. And the ice, you had to buy the ice and mm. put it in the pipe, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. So the, and then you put your, it made the ice box, so they call it the ice box. Your meat and whatever, you know, you put in your trailer, you know. You put it around the pipe and kept it good. And mm -hmm. put the cover on the box. Mm -hmm. And they call that, the, and my father made the first, first for my aunt, and then one for us. Because they didn't have ice boxes in those days yet, at least not in Suriname. Yeah. Okay. John Uller. <laughs> John Uller? That was my grandfather. Your father or your father? My father. My father. Oh, okay. father. Yeah, John, okay. John Hofer Cornelius. Ah, okay. And his father. Oh, your mother there. died. Oh. I got married. Mm -hmm. Went to Aruba. Then my mother decided to go to. Uh, Pierre Condre to her house. She'd never been there. And That's the Indian village, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a plantation. Plantation, yeah. yeah. And uh, something bit her, stung her, or whatever. They never found out. And then you didn't have transportation from Pierre Condre. Mm -hmm. Suriname, Paramaribo. So how did she get there? You had a... Uh, Take the boat or...? Yeah, they had a... Uh, uh, Torial, how you... Yeah, the river boat, yeah. Uh, you know where yeah, they have... Mm -hmm. And before she could come to town, the leg was wherever the song was. The whole leg was black up to her hip. And she was supposed to go to the hospital. And the next day they should have brought her to the hospital and they should have gone over to amputate the leg. And she died that night. So she did that. She was only fifty years. What happened with your father? Uh -huh. What happened with your father? And I was in Aruba and you had no telephones, no telegrams, uh, nothing. Only spoke once a month and then you corresponded with letters. You know. mm -hmm. And before I could get letters from my father, because I was the oldest of five children, and I was only 18. And uh, when I got the letter, I didn't know nothing. I got the letter from my father. I opened it, and the letter said, This is my last letter to you. Your mother passed away, and I can't live without your mother. And he just refused to live. 
they took him to the hospital and uh, they had to tie him to cheese him. Spit the food out on the nurse. nurse. And not even three months after my mother died. I couldn't come to Suriname to bury them. Those, in those days you can, had to be buried. For hours, they had no more terrariums yet. So I put bed in my mother. And with my father, after he died, but, and I, I tried to, I couldn't reach him. So I wrote and I said, parting of the, uh, the children who's going to take care of them after you also died, because he didn't want to live. Before he got the letter, he was there, and they had to bring the children, you know. So where did Tante Yeti go? Ta and Tante Yeti, she stayed with the son of Bernard. Mm -hmm. No, he, it was my aunt that uh, got married to the Bernard. Mm -hmm. They, they, they took her in. Mm -hmm. Son from Berlin is also a doctor. And they took her in. Mm. And where was that? Was that in Paramaribo or in Marienburg? Maybe Marienburg. I guess I don't remember how. Mm. Because he was in Marienburg. Mm -hmm. The doctor. How about your brothers? One went to Pierre Condre. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Belen. Remember that was Paul, he was later on. Uh, and then you had George. George, Herman. yeah. Mm-hmm. Herman, his, his, his paid, you call that again? Yeah. His paid. His, his parents, yeah, his godparents. Yeah, yeah, his godparents. They, they were from Guyana. Mm -hmm. And they took him in, and he uh, also died later on. Mm -hmm. And then we had Charles went to another brother. And uh, that's so long ago, and I was so young, I don't remember everything, because I can't, couldn't do anything for them, because I couldn't come to Suriname. You know, and, and then because I wrote my father and I was pregnant from Ivan. And I, I still wrote him the letter, but he didn't receive it, didn't make it. And I heard my mother before she died. She had a house just like this with the gallery here in the back, like, just like and she dreamt that she was coming on to the inside and there stood an, an Indian man with two women on both sides and he had a whole to leg. And the man told her, if you don't move from here, you're going to get this hold. How do you call it? A wooden. Uh, a wooden leg. Because they had no faces yet in those days, you know. So she dreamt that something, but she, my father said dreams, you know, he didn't believe in that sort of thing. And that's why he also felt very guilty. But you can't just pick up with four children and move somewhere else. And he felt guilty that uh, he was probably the cause. 